patients oftentimes ask, once we get past the yes, you have an ACL tear, and in your situation, I would have that fixed. So how do we fix it? ACL reconstruction is the most common procedure. There are options of taking a donor graft or taking an, what's called an autograft, so from you. And donor grafts are mainly for patients who are a little bit older, a little bit more sedentary. But studies have shown that if you are in your teens, 20s, your risk of re-rupture, so failure of the reconstruction, is much higher with a donor graft. So that's why for, for that patient population, at least in my hands, it's always an autograft coming from you. Then there's also the question, what is one graft better than the other? There is no one is the best solution. The nuances in terms of maybe for this patient, that's the better one. Well, for another patient, something else works better. So in my hands, I used to do patella tendon a lot, and I've gravitated more and more towards hamstrings and quadriceps tendon. And the reason for that is really donor side mobility. I noticed in my patients that have patella tendon that they had trouble kneeling, kneeling on something hard for years. With hamstrings, that incision is much smaller. It's on the side, not the front of the knee. So kneeling is, is not an issue. And there are new techniques where it's done what we call all inside. So you can get much thicker grafts and the re-rupture risk is not very different. I don't like cookie cutter, so sometimes I use quadriceps tendon. And that's a solution, for example, if you were wrestling or you love jiu-jitsu or you're a runner that does hurdles, where you really have high flexion hamstring activation all the time, yeah, then hamstring might not be the thing for you, and we use quadriceps tendon. But the many professional soccer players and even NFL players that have hamstring tendons and do just fine.